Yes, Ben, I did start Leo. Yeah, thank, thank, you, thank you for giving me the answer. Uh, third time is the charm, I was gonna ask that. But when did you inform Leo of the decision and just what impact do you feel like making that switch had on your guys' success today? Yeah, look, we made the decision yesterday. You were at practice. Um, and we just felt it wasn't it we just felt like with B having to have those short breaks, it allowed us to have the best lineup on um, at all times and then putting always having two handlers. So when Slutty could come in, um, then you know B keep B can come back and get Sabrina and have two playmakers. So um, you know, I think Leo had a great game. We've we've braved about her contributions all season long and um, it's a no-brainer, but she always stays ready. You know, she's regardless starter or coming off the bench, she's always locked in. Hi, all. Congratulations on the win. Brianna, there's been a lot of talk over the last few weeks especially about the importance of getting off to the, the a hot start, getting off to a, a good start on both ends of the court. And it went seven and a half minutes before you guys missed a shot. But defensively, what do you think <coughs> enabled you to to lock in there, and how did that in turn lead to some of the offense? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think that um, obviously, you know, the, the past few weeks, to be honest, the way we were playing, we didn't love it. Um, and especially after just losing to this team, we knew we could kind of be into them a little bit more and let our defense t dictate our offense. Um, and and really that, I think that we started off the game, like you said, seven minutes without make, without missing, which is kind of crazy. Um, but we were just pushing the tempo. We were trying to be aggressive on all cylinders and – um, especially with a bigger lineup, you're able to kind of control things on the backside because you can always X out or, or whatever the case may be. Oh, hi, everybody. Um, this one's for Leo. You guys were able to make it really difficult on Ryan Howard throughout the game. Just as a, as, as a defense, what do you think you guys did best to sort of make things really challenging for her? I think we're just really physical on all of their guards and also on, on their posts. Um, I think we came out with a you know, different mindset of being just really physical out there and set the tone. Uh, yeah, Sandy, just a little bit more on what Leo brought to you guys. Obviously, you know, things were more physical. And just the confidence you had in playing. I mean, she's not, you know, she's had a lot of experience playing overseas. But playing, this was her first playoff game, you know, ever in the WNBA. And to step up like that and be your leading scorer. Yeah, no, she's great. I mean, nothing phases Leo. It doesn't matter, and that's what you love about her. It's a regular season. It's a playoff. She brings the same mentality day in, out, um, practice as well. Uh, she's a professional, and that's that's what you want. So it was never um, any fear. We, I, I knew it would be great. It would actually help us, and I thought it did all over. But Leo is a great defender. She's got that length. Uh, she, we talked about how we can... Um, you know, be a little bit more versatile with that bigger lineup. That helps out. But Leia, you know, she started off from Ryan Howard, made it really tough. They couldn't get open on those stagger screens just by committing to playing defense and playing hard and, and executing a scout with, you know, putting her body on the line. Um, yeah, she's got great length. So um, she helped us. And tonight, she's a great shooter. I like it when she's shooting the ball and, and being aggressive. And she only missed one a little pull up. She'll work on that tomorrow, I suppose. <laughs> Hey, Stewie. Um, Slute obviously came off the bench for the first time. I guess it was since maybe 2017. Uh, I'm just curious how you thought she handled the assignment and how she contributed to getting this win. Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, Slute handled it like a vet and, and like a leader. And um, really, there, there was no kind of hiccup or adjustment. Um, she wants what's best for this team and knows that uh, whenever – it's her time to be on the court. She's going to contribute. And the fact that she was um, able to become the playoffs all-time leading assist -er. That's right. You got it right. You're better than me. <laughs> um, was really cool. And what was even cooler was I was able to score that basket. Hey, Coach, in the back here. Um, obviously not a problem today. Way back, oh. Sui. Uh, hey. I was like, whoa, God. <laughs> um, Obviously not a problem today, but when, when you look at what the goals of this team, you know, and the plus minus of the bench, you know, a total negative 21, are you at all worried about having to run five guys out there for the duration of the game and the endurance that that might have? No, not at all. I mean, obviously the, the bench, um, we know, like one game they had 40 points. So, you know, we, we, we trust them, we can rely on them. They're coming out there and they're doing their best. That's all we can ask from them. Um, and it's a team, you know. It's, it's going to take a team. Obviously, we rely on our key players, um, but it was good not to overplay anyone today, and uh, we're going to need that bench as we move 
and hopefully go for a long playoff. Oh, Stewie. Um, totally stole my thunder. It's like half of my question. It's fine. <laughs> um, but, you know, just for you to elaborate on that, you know, uh, Sloot passed Sue, who you yeah. played with both of them. Um, so from your perspective, just what did it mean to catch that ball and give her the record in that way and just her overall impact on the game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm looking at it from an after-the-game perspective because I had no idea during the game that um, she was that close to becoming the all-time assist leader. But... Uh, to be able to to kind of play with both um, and for Sue to be in the house tonight, I think is something that is really, really special for Sue, the way that she can continue to set people up in, in many different ways. Um, I've been a, a contributor of that, contributor of that um, here, but also overseas. And um, she's, she's one of the best to, to ever do it. And, and she just has like a, a great knack for where her teammates are. Hey, coach. Over here on my side. Uh, Still, we talked a little bit about how Sloop handled the road today. But for you, when you uh, spoke to her about the news, what was her response? How did she handle it? And then is this rotation something uh, permanent moving forward? Yeah, look, I think it was just um, just having a discussion. I'm always, like, very respectful. I have the – I trust uh, Sloot. It wasn't anything about that. It was going to help us with our, our best lineups at all time, um, especially with B's, the minutes in and out that she needs. Um, um, so she handled it. I mean, she wants to win. I mean, that shows a lot about her mentality. Whatever's best to the team's best for her. And, um, you know, I thought she came in and gave us really good energy there. And that's what we're going to need. I mean, she can kind of run that second unit. Um, you know, we'd like for her to actually get keep getting a little bit more aggressive than if she actually started with the starters because, you know, you're sharing the ball to them. Um, yeah, for now, we'll keep it like that. And, and But we'll, you know, we do whatever we think is best for, for the team at that time. Brianna, did, did you notice a difference in just the overall intensity that you guys played with? Um, you know, Coach got asked a lot of questions pregame about was this team ready for the playoffs after, you know, maybe not finishing the regular season great. Um, what did you just think of how you guys attacked this game and the intensity you played with? Yeah, I mean, I thought our, our intensity was incredible. I think that um, to have the crowd that we had here definitely made that a lot easier, but... Um, Holding ourselves accountable, knowing that, especially last game, we didn't play the way that we wanted to and, and making sure that, that we come out. You know, obviously Atlanta is trying to steal a game here and we don't want that to happen. And um, really there's what we said and what I said before is like, there's no no more time to talk about it. Like, this is it. The time is now and we have to be ready to, to go out and uh, put an entire game together. So, um, hey, Sandy, after uh, the last game, you know, you talked about Atlanta's points in the paint and they scored 38 today, but they only shot, you know, less like 40 percent. So what was the biggest difference there, whether it was physicality or rotations or all of the above? I think a bit of everything. It's being um, locked in to play defense um, and, you know, knowing their, pers uh, their, their strengths, KYP, but then also relying on where the help's coming from. Um, you know, we're more intentional today. We played with a little bit more focus and effort. And sometimes defense is like that. You've got to execute the scout, um, but you've got to put your body on the line and you've got to compete. And that's what we did. Hello, all. Congrats on the win. My question will be for Coach. The team shot just under 73% in the first. It's best in a period at home since June 22nd. And you had the eight free throw attempts, so eight free throw attempts as well, which were the best in a period all year, I believe. So in a first period all year. So what simply put went so right in that first and how rewarding was it when you consider what happened in game one in Chicago in 2022, which is something Jackie asked you about during the pregame? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, the first game, first game of the playoffs, it's a, you know, it's, a th we, it's home court. If you lose a game here, you lose home court. Um, you know, that's our focus and we've got big goals. We worked hard to get the number one seed. So we didn't want to let it go down the, didn't go down the drain, um, but it's just coming out with a focus. You know, we had a great quarter um, because we played defense. For the most part, we executed what we wanted to, and then we could get out and run, and we we're just sharing the ball. That's Liberty basketball. That's when we're at the best. We're not an ISO team. It doesn't look good on us when we try and do that. Um, you know, we played, I thought it was, you know, that first half, for the most part, we played in the right way. Leo, um, congratulations. I, the day, you, as I understand, you found out that you were starting with Saturday, right? So 
you're, you're coming into today knowing about it. Can you just kind of take us through what that preparation was like, what was like the, the, um, the getting ready for this start? And Stewie, just for you, I'm wondering what, if anything, you wanted to make sure you were in her ear about to be prepared for that kind of moment. Um, honestly, it just helped that I was in that role like a couple of weeks ago. Um, I started for this team already, so I didn't feel like super nervous because of that. So um, that helped for sure. And then, <clears throat> you know what Sandy said, like whatever role I'm in, um, however many minutes I play, like it doesn't matter. Like I'm going to bring the same every day. So that helps too. Um, no problem. Um, I don't have anything magical to say. Um, to, to be honest, I, um, I didn't say anything to Leo because I, I didn't think she needed it. I think that, um, you know, even though this was her first playoff game, the way that she's kind of built her confidence from the start of the season till now, um, she's a player that we need and we re rely upon. And um, when she was starting and then was when she wasn't starting, she was still – playing and acting like a starter, you know what I mean? Um, so it wasn't much of a, a bump in the road for her, but, um, you know, whenever she's on the court, I, I definitely just really enjoy playing with her. Hey, Leo, congrats to everyone on the win. Uh, Leo, you started the game five for five. You were extremely hot. Um, on the ESPN broadcast, Monica McNutt asked something that prompted me to ask this. How do you say on fire in German? Can you share that with us? I don't think we have that. <laughs> no, me you don't have on fire? What would you say if like someone is just hot, hot? Yes. Yeah, we just, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we just say that in English. Like we use a lot of like, in basketball we use a lot of English words, so. On fire would work. <laughs> oh, Leo, you were absolutely on fire. And can you just speak about um, what you saw today and how, how was that experience when you obviously got that call? But, you know, seeing your first couple of shots go through and just knowing, you know, I'm here. How was that? Um, you know, I kind of tried to live in the moment. Um, and I was just happy that we moved the ball and my teammates found me um, just shooting the ball. I mean, they're, they're leaving me open a little bit. I have to guard um, everybody else on my team, right? Like, we have great players. So, um, yeah, I can take advantage of that, and um, obviously it helps if you see your first ones go go in. Yeah, it does. Thanks, everyone. Thanks all. Thank you. Thank you.